you're here is a shout out to a friend I had back in 2007, 2008, and 2009 in Greenville, North Carolina. <clears throat> she worked at a city hotel and bistro as a bartender in a lounge during those years. She was a thin, maybe five foot seven, five foot eight, five foot nine, tall, blonde girl, straight blonde hair, a little lower than sh her shoulders. She was married. She had her husband. <clears throat> she was adorable too, pretty. Well, it's funny how we became friends. I was in the Barnes and Noble's bookstore, and I saw this blonde girl. I didn't know she worked at the City Hotel and Bistro. But I saw her sitting alone at a table for two on the other side of the dining room section of Barnes and Noble. And I was walking on the other side where the books were, and I just walked past her. She didn't nearly see me. I just touched her head, and she turned and looked at me, and I, I said, that just means you're cute. And she really appreciated it. She's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know her from Eve, and I just go over and touch her head. Well, a few nights later, <clears throat> after my panhandling stint, and I go to, and when the nightclub begin to open, I go to the city hotel and be sure, and I go into the lounge, and guess who I see working there? Well, I don't know what time it was I went. Maybe I went a little later, and not uh, when I was coming down. I don't know. But anyway, I saw her there, and she and I touched her head, and she's like, "You've done that before." I like, wait, I was that girl at Barnes Noble. I'm like, <clears throat> and you could tell she took she took an instant warming up to me, really liked me. Well, make, making this short, she really cared, the friend. She was a true pal, true friend. I would always touch her head. I would, I would come, come down from singing karaoke. I used to have this on YouTube. And I, I, the person who was filming me singing up there, or singing with the live band, I'd take the camera and walk up to Jenna, and she would see me from behind the bar. She would smile and come bend her head down and let me touch it. And I videotaped it. <coughs> One time, okay, as the 2007 went into 2008 and into 2009, whenever I would come from downtown Greenville, the bars down there, on my way home and stop at the CB Hotel and Beast Store to see what was going on there, every time she was working, she would grab a dollar out of her, her tip, tip jar. I never asked. She would just... I never, ever, ever asked. I just... All I had to do was go on the bar. And she... Give me a dollar. Go get yourself a snack. All the time. And I always touched her head. One time, my car messed up. I needed to be repaired. <clears throat> I went in and asked her if she knew any mechanics and told her about my dilemma or was worried out how I was going to get home. She said, look, I know how to fix cars. If you wait till I get off, I'll fix your car for you. No joke. This girl was well at, it would, it would, it would have been probably like 3.30 in the morning and she was willing to come out fix my car. I don't know what the problem was. Whether it was a flat tire. I 
think it was a flat tire. But she knew how to change a flat tire. But somebody, I found someone else to fix it for me because I wanted to get home. And I went in and told her, and I said, thank you, thank you. Touched her head again. <laughs> well, she told me one night, I don't know if it was in 2009 or 2010, this would be her last night. She was moving into another state. I said, I'd miss you. Uh, she and her husband were moving, and I haven't seen her since. I wish I still had those, those videos on YouTube, but Jenna, this is a shout out to you. Thank you for being my friend those years. And Karen, being a true friend. Thank you for all the times you, of your own accord, of your own initiative, you give me, pull a dollar out of your tip jar and just give it, give it to me. All those times to get a snack. Thank you. Thank you for letting me touch your head. And thank you for offering to fix my car that night. Damn, I wish I had a picture of her that I could include in this video. Your husband, he's a lucky man. And I wish you both a lifetime of happiness. You and your husband. Peace out, Junior. And thank you for being a friend. And here, here's an air tap. I touch your head on video. Boop! <laughs>